So MRI has got a very limited meaning. There is a corollary to this question wherein people say, what if someone has spasm and there is no blood vessel demonstrated? Exactly. Yes. If there is no blood vessel seen on the MRI, then who has reported the MRI? Has a radio routine radiologist who has no interest in neurovascular conflict reporting reported this? Has a neurosurgeon who is, you know, literally daily working in this area, has he seen and said that there is no blood vessel? Because many a times there will be blood vessels which are not reported. But if the blood vessel is really absent, then what we do is that we repeat the MRI with angiography and 3D reconstructions and still if we don't see the vessel, then we have to again go in neurological history of the patient. You know, uh, in all the patients we ask this history, whether he or she has had a history of multiple sclerosis or has a history of Bell's palsy mm. from which he is, you know, improving, he or she is improving mm. or has uh, had any other, uh, you know, degenerative di disorder, um, you know, or demyelinating disorder in the past of the nervous system. So, if we get such a history, then we really, you know, uh, then reconsider the diagnosis of cause of, uh, of the hemifacial spasm. Mm. But if there is really absent blood vessel, you have to again go and ask the question. Sometimes people forget they have had an attack of Bell's palsy some years back, you know, and uh, then when you, you know, again try to ask questions, you get that history.